that's a banded rock. This thing right here looks like a granite spiny or a hybrid or something. I'm not even sure. These guys are nuts. Tiny band of rock, hey, what's up, bro? We're gonna head down there a little further, work our way to the end of the trail. Now, let me tuck your dumbbells. <laughs> your dumbbells. Everywhere you go, there's a pretty good amount of shade. And when you get as much heat as we got, most of the lizards aren't sunbathing anymore, especially with the water right there. They don't hide like they do in some other areas. We just found our first trio walla. Look at him, he just sits there eating. Flowers, nom nom. Yeah, he's eating a ton of those things. It's a nice rock, you get to sunbathe and eat. What's up, bro? That is the most awesome passive chuck walla we've ever seen. Sorry if I just blurred you guys. He's a lightly orange spotted chuck walla He's running away now, he's a run walla That's so cool. Let's move on, go see what else we can find. Oh. Alright, what do you got here, bro? Tarantula hawk handling sticks. I don't know if we want to do that. I think handling that thing's a bad idea. I'm not sure if he's trying to find that tarantula he buried. He's running his own quarry, that's what he is. An independent mining corporation he's trying to start. Tarantula hawks are people too. He looks all creepy. Being so twitchy, he never stops moving. He's got ADD. <laughs> I've been stung by a bee, it kind of hurts. I've been stung by a wasp, it hurts more. Ah. He's flying around, he's buzzing. I don't want to get stung by that thing. I've seen TV and I'm pretty sure that's where the zombie apocalypse started. We've gone as far in the canyon as we're allowed to go. Unfortunately, if we go any further, that's tribal land over there. But there's a nice swimming hole here. I'm gonna go down in there, swim around, see what's down there, have a little adventure. Not much of an adventure in this cave, but at least I got bath time out of the way. I went in there and thought I was all smart and said there ain't no adventure here. There's a ton of tree frogs on the west side of the cave. See them all on the pond fronts and on the rocks? What the heck? They're palm tree frogs. I want this big guy. I'm going to catch him. This is massive. Oh! Geez. It's the amphibian version of a Pomeranian. Uh, See, he's really small. You can put him in your purse. Tree Pomeranian frog. New species. We just discovered that. You guys are welcome. We're sitting down having lunch. Moving on. There's so many people that travel this trail that a lot of the lizards aren't even afraid. Oh my god, he's so brave. <laughs> Did you see that lizard's response to the freaking camera? Scaly pose, where'd he go? He left, okay. These are the most Vogue GQ lizards I've ever seen in my life. What the heck's Vogue GQ? Look at the size of this chuck wall over there. It's pretty much full grown. I wonder if he'll be nice enough to let me go up there and hang out with him. Oh, he's doing, doing push-ups. Oh, he's, he's looking at me. Hey, there he is right there. He's eating stuff again. I think I might have just reminded him there was like a tree version of Taco Bell down here for Chuck Wallace. We're going to see if he'll let us touch him. Please? Can I touch you? Normally my favorite tree is a Christmas tree, but I think now it's a Chuck Walla tree. If I can just get some more herps in it for decorations, then we'll be good. Don't worry guys, we didn't forget you. We didn't forget you. What I mean is I didn't forget my $3,000 camera. That's what I really mean. But we love you guys too. All right, we just found three banded rock lizards. These guys gonna fight or something? There's two more of them. The female ran away. He got rejected. He's probably really sad, so I gotta cuddle with him to make him feel better. I'm not sure if I'm his type, though. Is that a chuckle wall in the tr Oh my god, there's a chuckle wall all the way in that bush up there. That bush gives out chuckle wall while you're taking a big plunge. Good being stuff, dude. Now we know why this spot is loaded with rock lizards and chuck wallas and spine lizards and everything else is because there's a bee nest up there. I can't go up there. Um, I'm allergic. I'll fall down. I'll die. And then we will go from crazy kids to raising me from the dead kids if you guys want to see more videos. Found out Ian from Techno Indos here. Hopefully we'll be able to get some new things that we were not able to achieve yet in the prior three days here. I think Ian's going to be our good luck charm. <laughs> Ian's already been able to film numerous things that I'm, I'm, I don't think he's ever seen before. Watch that rock. Watch that stick. We spotted our first chuck today. We're moving in, guys. 
There's his little head creeping up off the ledge. That was a catch right there. Good job, boss. Never caught a chuck before. Look at that guy. <laughs> he wasn't in the sun, so I don't think he was too fired up. It's totally snuck up on that guy. That was a good spot. He was mesmerized by your beard, bro. Yeah, man. All right, let's see what you got. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I thought these guys would be wary and running down into cracks, and but I saw him right up there, and I'm like, he's got nowhere to go. <laughs> but up. All right, there we go. Natural rock. It's like, okay, that's close enough to the crack I go. Don't want no mo. The day's warming up, so I'm cooling down. I think that water is a little short of drinking quality, but still pretty clean. I'm hoping luck is with us, and that I'll be able to get those rock lizards. This is almost the entirety of this hike guys. You start all the way down there, you follow this rock ridge line right here through the oasis where it flows all the way to the top to the end of a pool up here. And once you're up there, there's a fence and then no more traveling because it's Native American land. Keeping with tradition, they got a little tiki hut here. This ain't exactly my style hut. Barely big enough to, to hold kids, let alone make kids in it. That's horrible. This hut's got a little more privacy. <laughs> it's family friendly as long as I don't take my clothes off. The hut that I prefer normally has pizzas oh, in it. <laughs> hey, what the heck? They oh, rebar. <laughs> Guys, that is authentic Native American rebar, okay? They had to reinforce that so it could hold the weight of the average idiot. This is the Native American badass hut. This is not for letting smoke out, it's for doing pull-ups. Look, it's a rabbit cat. What's up, dude? <laughs> I thought when I popped out of the hole we were gonna play a game of whack-a-mole. You're about to get scalped. Hey, look! <laughs> yeah, I stand up, Ian scalps me. Uh, out the top. Uh, <laughs> there we go. Yeah, it's instead of whack-a-mole, it's scalp-a-mole. <laughs> get here, out of here. Come over here. Shank. <laughs> Both of you. <laughs> you do need a haircut. That'll make it easy, right? Ah, uh, in my back. I do. I think our ancestors are speaking with us and we need to stop making jokes because Neo just got gouged. And for those of you that don't know, yes, I, I have some Native American in me. I better get out of here. I'm going to see if I can scale the rock face and hopefully find something hiding. These rocks are like super slippery. Well, how do you think I feel? Look where I'm at. My rocks have a fall at the end. There's no happy ending. There's no pot of gold, no rainbow. It's a pain bow all the way to the bottom. Ah! Look, guys. I can fly! You guys are just jealous because my sounds are manlier than yours. I hope this rock don't fall. Dad, I like need to go pee really badly. Is that why the camera's unstable? Kind of. Neil, drop your backpack. Go cameraman. We're gonna jump this. Wait, what? You're gonna die? Down in here. I did it. Your head's not in the way, is it? Nope. Are you sure? Yeah, oh, oh okay. There we go. It's about as far as I can go on this cliff without jumping. I'm gonna break my way over there. Jump my way over there, hopefully not break anything, and then land that way. Ah. Ian's going in, doing his thing. This is the first time he's been here. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't like having a camera in his face. I mean, if you think about it, he's sitting in his house naked, and we're right. invading his privacy. Right. They closed that area on us, so now we're heading over here to another spot, gonna do some flipping past these windmills. It has wannabe eco mode. Uh, and, and boost mode. The eco stands for ecological destruction. We found our goal, a red-headed blue body banded rock lizard right over there. Just in case it gets away, I'm gonna get a little closer so you can see what it looks like because there's no guarantee and I at least want you guys to, to see this beauty. We're a little closer. All right, there we go. Look at that beauty. Uh oh, he sees me. You guys see him giving me the eye? I'm so nervous. Stop trying to eat the pole. Oh, you're supposed to go in the noose. Oh, hey, stop attacking my pole. Oh, you cheap lizard. No, 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 no. As I suspected, no luck getting that thing. They're just a little bit too twitchy. Gonna go get in the truck, do some road cruising, and hopefully find some critters. Maybe even a tri band shovel move or a tri-band crazy person since we're in California. We made it to Whitewater, fresh, flowing, and clean. 
and hoping to find some rosy boas. There might be some desert to go on the back here. What is that? <laughs> Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. I can't believe that he just disappeared. Even the bugs are freaking digging down in the sand. <laughs> the bugs are like, get out of here. These guys are assholes. Pour the roof off my house. There's a mouse. Okay, there's. Wait. We flipped some dried out logs in the sand. And I don't know if this is the long nose snake. We are dumb Herberts. <laughs> we don't know anything. Hey, he looks just like that thing from Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. I have not seen it, but okay. We found him. He was hiding right there underneath that log. Okay, I'm just kidding. That thing's teeny. No, bad snake. Hey, Dad, he ain't leaving a trail like you said. <laughs> He's too small. <laughs> It's supposed to be like giant dunes on each side of that wiggle. We're not sure what happened, why he decided to shed when we're hanging out with him. By the way guys, if you know what this thing is, help us out. We're having a hard time with the ID because of his size. Rat tiger. Ah, <laughs> I'm getting noodled. That's awesome, I love tiger worms. He's braceleting me right now. He's turning into a bracelet. He's braceleting me now. We're gonna let this tiger worm looking thing go. Check out the sand burrow. See if it'll do it for us. Commence the sand burrowing. Jeez. Oh my God, you can see the sand moving under the ground. It's under the damn ground. There he goes, he's tremoring. <sighs> we need to call Bert. <laughs> you, you little tremor. We got a tremor problem. We got a phone problem. God dang it. Maybe that's Bert, Val, and Earl. <laughs> Hello? Awesome. Okay. I'll see you in a little bit. Okay. Bye, Dad. Love you. His release spot's over there. So this is where we're going to let him go. Normally, Herper etiquette dictates you got to put it back where you found it, but we buried his hole and we found him there. So we had to find a new one. There's no guarantee another critter's going to occupy this, but I got no choice, guys. Alrighty. Cool find, bro. That's awesome. All right, we gotta get back to the truck. Losing our sunlight. Got another day of herping. I mean, what I mean, another day. I got infinite amount of days of herping because I'm doing this until I can't walk no more. Until somebody buys me an all-terrain wheelchair. All right, guys. I know we've known each other for a long time right now. It's time I show you my house. Get a little personal. Next month, we're gonna be on MTV Cribs. Here, let me show you around. That's the guest house for our favorite subscriber. Right there. We went with a minimalist style approach to our home, so it's more environmentally friendly, less parts to maintain and clean, and it has a great view, and you're free out in the fresh air to get the environment just all in your lungs. It has an amazing view from the bathrooms, too, and you don't have to clean the toilet. No scrubbing, no nothing. You just squat down straight to the plumbing. See, that, that's pretty relaxing right there. I might end up colostomizing myself, but that's what depends are for. Come to think of it at my size, guys, I probably don't even use old diapers, so. <laughs> the living rooms are uh, pretty nice. You know you were rolling when your freaking living room is connected to your front yard without a wall. Some people come over, they see this place, they get they get jealous, but I know I know I can trust you guys not to hate on us, you know? Because this, this is just, this is the dream. It's the dream, it really is. You guys gonna do some living room parkour? All right, don't get the walls dirty, okay? I'll make you clean that. When you get older and you have a job, you'll know how hard it is, you know, to maintain this place. Guys, don't ever give up on your dreams. Blood, sweat, and tears will get you here. But when you get here, probably all you're gonna have is more blood, sweat, and tears. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you just lost half. You just lost half. can't even laugh. He's like, ah, ah. No. See, apparently he's getting some of that fresh air just from the... As you guys can see, we also have an amazing family. They donated all this lightly used furniture for us. So we're going to be able to get right in there and just get watching TV and Xbox and editing. Support me on Patreon and my dad can take me to a dentist. <laughs> Ah, you look like a monster. I was gonna go to dentist and get more teeth. See, You're that's gonna get problem. more teeth? You're yep. gonna be a shark. It's <laughs> <laughs> goals in life. That was Jaws 4 right there. Did you guys see that? He literally has four jaws. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
for us Patreon so I can uh, buy myself some teeth grow too. Some, <laughs> oh, we want some Jaws but cream. But you don't need teeth grow. Some Jaws cream. <laughs> Help your teeth grow. Uh, get your eyes covered in dirt. No. Ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a meteor hit South America. Let me see the damage. <laughs> We're in North America, you stupid. Monsoons. <laughs> I hate monsoons now. Thanks for watching, guys. Please comment, like, subscribe. Please support us on this Patreon. It'll help us with my speech. <laughs> and videos. Better videos. You definitely need help with your speech, so give us Patreon <laughs> so he can speak English. Please, guys, help us on Patreon so we can help support Neo's speech. And my dentistry. Is this funny? 100% funny. <laughs>